Hey Cancer, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of March 11th through the 17th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, Cancer. Oh my gosh. All right, I love this. You're showing up here with the Moon. Four of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Three of Cups. There is a magical reunion of some sort happening here. Wheel of Fortune, things are changing for the better in your relationships. There's some sort of event happening this week, like an anniversary, a celebration, a birthday. Something is happening this week and you're feeling the most like yourself. Whatever's changing in your life, Cancer, is taking you on quite the journey. I feel like you feel fulfilled, satisfied, um, like... There's something that you're accomplishing this week that is taking away every single like ounce of doubt about your path. Whatever you've carried in the past, you know, relating to doubt or worry or concern about your future, there's something happening this week that is eliminating that completely 100%. You're starting to feel like this is exactly where I belong. This is exactly what I'm supposed to do. Everything that's happening, all of the signs are there. Everything is showing you and demonstrating that this is the life that you are supposed to live. Like there's something so crazy amazing happening this week, Cancer, that I don't think I've ever felt that energy before in such a way. Like the fact that you're coming through here first and foremost and all of the cards are just showing pure um, like excitement. But yeah, there's a major accomplishment here. Like you have no doubt right now that this is what you're supposed to do. Let's clarify the four of wands. Three of Pentacles could be something within the workplace. You could be getting some sort of uh, major opportunity here. I feel like some of you could even be getting karmic justice, but in the form of like just pure, um, you know, like you're getting a reward. You're getting some sort of validation. It's like something that you've been working hard for, something that you've been preparing for. You're setting yourself up for success. Um, I feel like financial abundance, financial independence, some sort of stability is coming through this week. Like there's something you've done here for yourself that is taking you away from this feeling of like depending on other people to only needing yourself. Um, I feel like for you, this is about financial independence. But then again, it's like there's still something so much bigger happening here. Like, I don't know. This is just so good. Let's clarify the moon. Eight of Wands, yeah. You're in perfect alignment right now. It feels like there's a major opportunity that has changed and transformed your life and it feels like it's still going. Like the transformation has not stopped. And I think that's what that Wheel of Fortune is about. Like there's something that's just spinning um, and it's just getting better and better with time. There's something about divine messages, divine guidance. Some of you have been listening to your intuition since a while ago. And ever since you started doing that, you've noticed this pattern of like, okay, when I manifest something, it happens. And then when I keep trusting that, it keeps coming through. Like my faith or my trust in the universe does not ever let me down. Um, the lovers, which is Gemini, four of cups, page of pentacles. You're learning how to trust your higher self in a way, Cancer, that like no one else is doing right now. No one else has had this type of energy in a, in a while. And I am not just saying that. You're learning how to trust your intuition and it is transforming just about everything in your life. And I feel like right now you are the magician. Um, like, of course, that's Gemini, but like it, in the just general sense of the term, you are learning how to manifest better than anyone else right now. And it is just blowing my mind. Let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. king of pentacles yeah you are creating such a like real foundation for you right now like feels like a legacy even page of swords high priestess there's that intuition empress yeah you're learning how to trust your gut you're learning how to listen to your higher self your inner voice your intuition is like 
you're discovering something or you discovered something about yourself that has allowed you to overcome so many of the things that mentally held you back in the past. You've shattered so many like generational curses. Um, this week is huge for you, Cancer. This week is like one of the most exhilarating, profound, impactful, like probably maybe the most important week of the year just because of what's going on with your energy. Like it is on another level and yeah i'm just like i don't even i don't even know what to say let's clarify the four of wands yeah you've transformed something ten of wands you went from ten of wands to four of wands you went from i don't know if i can carry this to i did it three of pentacles look at this balance three plus three right three of Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. You turned water into wine here. You transformed a Three of Swords energy, which is painful, you know, probably one of the worst energies, to I'm going to work with this and I'm going to make it better. I don't even, I don't even feel like I have to keep going. Cancer, like this is just too amazing that I need to like just let it, I'm going to let it simmer let it marinate. I really hope that you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.